Okay, I'm back. Um, I got, I got quite a few interesting questions, and I'm gonna go over. I think all of them. Yeah, we'll just go all up, over all of them. I've written them down. So, one of them was, will you make new make a new design? And, um, I would love to. I have some ideas floating around in my brain. What I need is more time. <laughs> um, I work full time as a financial specialist for a big IT company here in Iceland. And then I work for Steven as well. Um, I have a big family and limited knitting time. And um, often I just want to sit down and knit, you know, making designs is a lot of work. Um, the Minster cowl pattern that I released took me months. I knit two prototypes. Uh, I sent it out to test knitting and like, it takes a lot of time, but I do have an idea of, uh, a West and, and a sweater that I kind of want to try to design or like put out there. But like I said, I need more hours in my day, but maybe they will come at some point. But yeah, I hope so. I hope that I can release more and design more and get my ideas out of my brain and out into the world. <laughs> <clears throat> and the next question is, what tips do you have for be beginners going for their first mystery knit along? Um, Trust the process and trust yourself. Uh, it's just knitting. It, you don't have to take it very seriously. Uh, if you make a mistake, it's, you know, you can fix it um, or just leave it and call it a design feature. Um, use social media, use Ravelry and uh, YouTube. Steven always does really, really clear instruction videos for the techniques that he uses in in his designs, especially for the mystery knit along, because um, we want it to be as accessible as possible to everybody. So, um, yeah, just trust the process. Um, Steven absolutely knows what he's doing. He's been he has been doing this for a long time. The pattern has been test knitted by a few people, um, and yeah, and just have fun with it. It's a lot of fun. Be involved in the revelry groups and the talks on um, social media. It, you know, the sense of community is one of the most fun things for me, at least during this time. And yeah, good luck. You, you'll have a blast. Um, next question is, I would love to hear how you think about color and fiber using a current VIP, VIP work in progress. Um, uh, I'm sorry if you can hear some banging. My neighbor is building a shed in the garden next to me. Um, yeah, so the banging is from there. Um, I need a project to talk about here. Thankfully, I have all of them out still since last night. Uh, I'm gonna go with my Vertices Unite show. This is a scrappy project and I knew that I wanted it to be a scrappy one. Um, and by that, I mean, I pick a bunch of leftovers. For me, fiber is not important. Um, I don't think when I'm picking yarns for a project, I don't think about, oh, I'm only going to use singles or I'm only going to use BFL or I'm only going to use uh, suck yarn. I just pick the right uh, weight of yarn. This is a fingering weight. And then I just pick the colors that speak to me. And as I knit a lot, I have a lot of scraps. Uh, I knew that I wanted it to be in like my colors and my colors aesthetic is kind of 
um, uh, I sometimes, when, I, when I'm trying to describe it, I think of a spice market um, with all the like rust and curry golden yellows and browns and like warm earthy tones but with a little bit of funk to it as well i i like a little bit of a surprise in the colorways that i pick and i knew that i wanted to use my leftover fluoromorganite from my minster cowl as the eye card edge i'm not going to use it for anything else in the shawl only for the eye card edge this color is so fun so that's what i wanted so i wanted to mix uh, neutrals and like my earthy greeny mossy lava kind of colors with this um this is gonna be interesting these are some of the colors i'll pick i'll take all of them out and show them to you And these and these and these so basically I just uh, dumped a lot of leftovers um, on the table and I kind of rearrange them and play with them and I can kind of see what doesn't really go in it um, and I might not use them all but I want to have them all so that I can play with them um, and then I just start knitting and I just change color whenever I want I don't um, complete an entire section using uh, like this section, the first section, is supposed to have two colors. Uh, so far, I have used one, uh, two, three, four colors. So I just play with it. The gray has has stayed the same for the entire section, but then I used I used a little bit of green here in between. And then I went into this leftover uh, light color. It's a, it's a Hatshark Fiber colorway from a long time ago. And now I'm using um, this mini skein that I got in an advent calendar a while ago. So yeah, that's basically... I don't really put a lot of thought into it. I just go with my gut feeling and what I find beautiful. Um, and I'm not afraid to edit, add more, or leave something out, um, and then I just play with it and just try not to think about it too much because then it becomes, um, uh, it's not as freeing for me. Um, I like just being kind of in the flow and just knitting and oh now i want to like i've done one row with this color but now i want to do a few with this and then introduce another one and i just i don't know i don't know really how to explain it i see a lot of color in my mind um and i get very inspired by just everything around me basically I don't know if I even answered your question, <laughs> but that's basically what goes through my mind when I'm trying to play with color. Okay, <clears throat> technique you refuse to do apart from cables. Well, I have done cables quite a few times in my life. <laughs> I don't particularly enjoy them, but I think it's because I find that it, they kind of slow me down. Uh, I love the look of cables, but yeah, they kind of, they slow me down and I don't know. 
uh, I just need to do them more because I'm sure if I would do them more, I would enjoy them and like be more in the flow. Uh, any other technique that I refuse to do? I don't think so. I I'm willing to try anything at least once or twice and figure out if I actually like it or not. Um, I haven't done a lot of intarsia, but I find intarsia really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, no, I don't think there's a technique that I'm just like, nope, 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 this is not for me. I'm never doing this. Um, project that will get me out of a knitting slump. Um, usually when I'm in a knitting slump, I just, I just let it happen. Um, but I think picking, uh, for me, picking a extra special ske skein of sock yarn that I've been, ho ho you know, holding on to for a while and casting on a new pair of socks with some amazing colors and self-striping is always kind of encouraging because you want to go to the next color, next color, next color. That's kind of, yeah, I think I would say that. Picking a beautiful skein of self-striping sock yarn and casting on a pair of socks. Uh, favorite blanket pattern to knit or crochet? Um, I would say like the rainbow, rainbow blanket that I finished. It's garter, it's super, super easy, super TV friendly knitting, and you can absolutely control it's so easy to uh, control the size and yeah, so that one. Anything you can share about the mystery knit along? Lots of new stitches or cables. Did it take long to knit? I can't really share stuff about the mystery knit along. I'm still working on mine. I haven't finished. It's not very time consuming. I just haven't had a lot of time to knit recently because work has been really busy and life has been really busy and I've been sick and all kinds of things, but I don't have that much left to do on it. Um, if I work on it diligently, I will definitely get it done this week. Um, lots of new stitches or cables that this is something that I'm not allowed to talk about. So sorry, I can't really, you know, I'm having fun with it. I'm enjoying knitting it. Um, am I learning something new? Yes, I am. Uh, and yeah, just, I can't say anything more. <laughs> um, and then I got a question about yarn stores in Reykjavik. There's a lot of yarn stores in Reykjavik and the surrounding area. Um, Three years ago, I think, uh, I recorded, there was the Reykjavik uh, yarn, yarn crawl, and I recorded a little bit in every single store that I visited. I will link that video in the description box. Uh, my two favorite yarn stores in Reykjavik are Litla Preona Budin and Gartnbúð Eddu. I think they are amazing. Uh, their selection is spectacular and yeah, those are my go-to yarn stores in Reykjavik. How many hours do you knit every day? Um, I would say on average, like two or three. Sometimes more during the weekend. But like, yeah, two or three hours a day. And then there are some days that I just don't knit at all. It, you know, if I'm exhausted or, you know, life is busy, then I don't really have time to knit. <clears throat> Favorite thing I have knit this year is my blanket. It's, yeah, it's the most amazing thing that I've knit. Um, I really, really enjoyed doing 
the Fenty Stitch sweater as well for my wife. And yeah, but the blanket is. That's my favorite thing. Did you draw a winner for the socks to match your shawl knit along? No, I did not. I decided to extend that knit along. It's still running. I don't think people are making socks to match their shawls anymore, but I haven't closed it. I'm thinking about closing it after the last clue of the this, like maybe give it through the end of November. So if people want to make socks to match their new twists and turns shawl, they can. But no, I haven't drawn a winner. I haven't gotten any prize. I've gotten one prize, um, but I can definitely, you know, find some prizes. Um, and yeah, I will close it at some point this year. Okay, and then I got a, a question about tips. I'm so sorry about the banging. Yeah, tips about sock knitting for beginners and yarn recommendations. Um, I really enjoy working with DPNs, but you have to find your own technique. If you like cuff down or toe up, if you like magic loop or dpns or the flexi trio things um it's so personal what people like and don't like i have done socks on magic loop um, it's not my favorite technique i like doing my socks on dpns i always do them cuff down i have tried toe up i didn't enjoy that process as much um, it's basically a learning curve. You have to figure out what works for you and what you enjoy to do. And then you can just basically go from there. Um, it took me a long time to be comfortable with making socks and figuring out how I wanted to do them and how I wanted them to fit my feet. Um, I haven't done a lot of patterned socks. I did the Dustland socks for Steven. I'm doing the painting honeycombs. I've done Hermione's everyday socks and I've done a cable sock. But my favorite is always just like a plain vanilla sock because then I can play with the yarn and the construction and colors and scraps and all kinds of stuff. So that's usually what I go for when I'm making socks. I love intricate, lacy, beautiful sock designs, but I usually just don't knit them. I, I like my socks to be something that I can just pick up, knit and put down and not have to think about like where I am in the pattern, if I made a mistake, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just want it to be effortless. Um, I know a lot of people enjoy making complicated socks and you know, all my respect to you, but that's just not for me. Um, yarn choices, uh, absolutely go with a nylon blend for strength. You are putting a lot of work into your socks, so you want them to last. Uh, take good care of your socks. I wear my socks all the time in the house. I usually always have, um, I usually always, we have wooden floors. Um, hardwood floors. I always, I'm usually always wearing slippers in the house or like these. <laughs> um, and, and a knitted pair of socks, but I also wear my socks in my Dr. Martens and my sneakers and everything. I wear them all year long. I always wash them by hand, even though I make them with uh, sock yarn that can go in the washing machine. I just prefer to knit them by hand because they last longer. I never put them in the dryer. I hang them and yeah, they last a long time. And make sure that your gauge is pretty tight. The tighter your gauge is, the longer your socks will last. If you knit really loosely, you should go down needle sizes until your fabric is dense and tight. And yeah, I think that's it. Those are all the questions that I got. 
um, a little life update. Life is going really well, apart from <clears throat> some health issues, but I don't think it's anything serious. I think it's just my immune system is not 100%. I, I got COVID two times. I got it in August and then I got it again in March. And since then, I've been just like catching every bug that's been going around. I'm going to make a doctor's appointment and uh, like have some blood work done and just see if there's anything else going on. I don't think there's anything else going on, but um, I'm, I'm tired of this. I don't like feeling it's like I'm not sick. It's not like I'm in bed with a fever and like super under the weather, but I'm not 100 percent and far from it. Um, also, as I talked about in my last uh, whip episode, my memory is off. I sometimes don't remember people. And yeah, it's just, it's not a good feeling. Um, so I'm going to see a doctor and just talk about it. Um, kids are doing well. Animals are doing well. Wife is doing well. Work is going well. I'm excited about the mystery in it along and everything that goes with it. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for your support. Um, if you would like to like this video or leave a comment or subscribe or share it with your friends, I would really, really appreciate that. I'm always trying to come here more often. Um, like with many other things in life, finding the time to do so can sometimes be a little bit tricky with everything that's going on. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying my best. And I really have, I have a lot of ideas of new content that I want to create for you guys. Like I said, with uh, knitting socks from start to finish, uh, playing with color more, I want to show you how I... Um, pick yarns and, you know, do my thing. Because I, I get a lot of questions. I know a lot of people can't do this. It It's not complicated or anything. But I would love to take you along in a project, like from the minute that I start thinking about it until I cast it on and when I'm knitting it, how I, you know, how my thought process works with color and yarn play. So, yeah. Thank you, and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye!